doing JavaScript algos and data structures in the regular expressions course, and we're on challenge 7 of 33. So today we're going to match anything with the wildcard period. So sometimes when we're using regex, we won't or don't want to know the exact characters in patterns. Um, thinking of all the words that match, say, a misspelling would take a long time. Luckily, you can save time by using the wildcard character, which is a period. It's literally the period. So the wildcard character will match any one character. Okay. So the wildcard is also known as the dot or the period, as I say. Um, for example, if we had the the uh, we wanted to match hug, huh, hut, or hum, we could use the expression forward slash hu wildcard or hu period forward slash. Right. So you can see here how we could match all of these because the period is the wild card so it can be any of any character literally and it will match um, so here hug we're looking for hu and any other character so naturally that will match same thing huh we're looking for hu and any other character so naturally that will match okay so looking at this example hum string i'll hum a song hug string bear hug, and then the regex, forward slash hu, wild card, forward slash. So we're looking for any string that's hu anything like that, right? That's that's the idea, is that whatever you put in here is exactly what it's going to find, including the wild card, which will find anything in that, anything there either. So really, if you just put forward slash period, forward slash, it would find any one character, right? Like I, A, any one character that's by itself. So in this case, it'll find any character that's H, U, that's, you know, fo that follows H, U, that character. I hope that made sense. Um, this is, I hope I didn't overcomplicate that really. It's just going to look for whatever you put in there plus another character. That's the wild card is it's going to look for any other character that fits this expression. Okay. So we're going to complete the regex so that it matches the strings run, sun, fun, pun, none, and bun. The regex should use the wildcard character. So just off this, we can see the pattern here, right? R-U-N, S-U-N, F-U-N, P-U-N, N-U-N. So the pattern is something U-N, X-U-N, R-U-N, B-U-N, uh, blank, UN. That's the pattern we're looking for. So the blank will be the wild card. That's what the wild card does is it finds whatever that character is followed by whatever else or, you know, following whatever else. So all we would have to do is look for the pattern. Okay. So clearly it's whatever UN is the pattern here. So we can say wild card. So wild card UN. So now we're looking for any character and then U N. And that's the that's the expression, right? So this will find R U N S U N F U N P U N N U N A U N whatever any U N string any blank U N string, okay? So now looking at this result equals unregex. So this regex dot test the example string, and now you can see it says fun with regular expressions, so it will match blank U N. So we should get back true here. So if we console log result you can see it's true because once again it matched this fun with the blank un expression right f is the blank and then it found the u and the n so that's a match so true and same thing uh this actually won't work here if i say let result two equals example string dot match and then we pass it the unregex, and then we console log result two. You can see the match found the fun string as the match. So that is the the correct match because it's blank un, f un, and we're looking for blank un. So simple enough. Hope that made sense. This match part is has nothing to do with the challenge. That was just me demonstrating that yes, this expression is in fact working and matching the fun. So this technically is all we needed here and that should pass i hope that helped hope to see you guys in the next lesson if you have any questions please leave them in the comments and i'll get back to you asap 
see you in the next lesson.